Good day to all my lecturers and my fellow friends. I am Tan Jumin and today I would like to present my study which is entitled Modeling and Simulation of Carbon Dioxide Pressure Seam Absorption. Okay, for today's presentation, I would like to talk about introduction, literature review, methodology, result and discussion, and lastly will be the conclusion. For the introduction, this chapter explains about the research background, problem statements, and the research objectives. For the research background, why PSA is choose is because it is reversible, the adsorbent can be recycled and has high, high adsorption efficiency. Apart from that, it also requires shorter regeneration time, can be modulated into a smaller space, and lower energy is required. There are three problem statements in this study. First of all, as part of PSA modeling, a couple of statement linear partial differential equations had to be solved repeatedly in time and space, with different initial and boundary conditions until the system attains cyclic steady state. There is no current currently there is no detailed MATLAB coding regarding on this. Secondly, the designation of an effective PSA cycle and the selection of appropriate adsorbents are the two critical factors. Thirdly, PSA technology is still in embryonic stage in Malaysia. There are three research objectives for this study. Firstly, study on operation of PSA system and develop the mathematical model of carbon dioxide pressure swing adsorption. Next, develop a computer program by using the MATLAB software to simulate the performance of carbon dioxide adsorption in PSA. Lastly, compare simulated results with experimental data from journal to validate the predictive model. Let's move on to the literature review. These two figures show the PSA process and the process process is based on the sarcrom PSA cycle which are four step adsorption, desorption, purge, and blow down. These are the summary of the literature where, the, where there are five researchers, journals that I refer frequent, uh, refer frequently for this study. Okay, let's move on to the methodology. This chapter will explain about the methods to carry out the study. Okay, first of all, we move to the modeling part. First, I have to make the assumption, then summarize the required model equation. After that, indicate the initial and boundary condition for the adsorption and desorption. After that, introducing dimensionless variables such as distance, time, velocity, and pellet number. Then will be the dimensionless equation where the equation and boundary condition are dimensionalized and solved by a method of line and orthogonal collocation method respectively. And lastly, building computer program. There are four coding files has been coded, such as the J Jacobi file, called PSA, adsorption, and also the desorption. Then, I will explain the algorithm of PSA model in the MATLAB coding. Okay, first of all, the core PSA file is the main file where it calls the Jacobi file to calculate the position for Z domain. Then it will set the initial condition for the model equation. After that, it will start the cycle part for the cycle system for the adsorption and desorption. Where the middle two, uh, for first cycle, it will go to the adsorption file. If the adsorption time is reached, it will move to the desorption file and, and repeat the cycle until the desorption time is reached. After that, the adsorption and desorption will be repeated until the desired cycle is achieved. Then it will stop and give us the, the results. Okay, now I would like to go to the result and discussions where there are six results will be discussed in this presentation and the, due to the objective I have to compare the, uh, the simulation result and also verify the simulated result with the 
journal from the dentist and also the psychiatrist, which is two journal. The first result obtained is from is compared with the dentist, where the first is the absorption breakthrough curve of the carbon dioxide. The grey dotted is the experiment data from the dentist, and the blue line is the simulation result. And we can see that the my predictive model could show the dis actual dispersion effect well and incline and achieve the steady state. The result, uh, my predictive model showed the fitted, quite fitted result with the experimental data. Therefore, my predictive model is verified for the first time. And then I will determine the collocation point, which is N. Just now, the first result, the collocation point is 10. And we can see that the actual dispersion effect for the carbon dioxide absorption is not that pretty. The result simulated is not that, uh, not that well. Then I will try the collocation point for n equal to 30. And we can see that the actual dispersion simulation, pre uh, simulation result is quite smooth and accurate. Then for the 50, I also have tried for the collocation point for 50 and we can see that the actual dispersion effect and other carbon dioxide absorb it doesn't have any difference compared with the collocation point for the 30. Therefore, collocation point for the n equal to 30 is children for the further simulation. Then for the third result, I will show the carbon dioxide and nitrogen breakthrough curve. Okay. The dotted blue line is the carbon dioxide breakthrough curve, while the blue line without the dotted is the nitrogen breakthrough curve. The nitrogen breakthrough earlier compared to the carbon dioxide, this is due to the linear driving force of nitrogen is much larger than the carbon dioxide. The larger the linear driving force, the faster the nitrogen or the gas component could be absorbed to the absorbent. Okay, next, I will move on to the second validation, which is from the Cyquira experimental data. This is the absorption breakthrough curve compared with the Cyquira result. The gray dotted data, experimental data is from the Cyquira, while the blue line is the simulation result. We can see that the simulation, my predictive model can also get the breakthrough curve by using the Cyquira experimental data and it break through and get the steady state. Then from the Sakura also, I have simulate, have tried for the absorption and desorption, which is known as the cyclic process for this predictive for, for this study, where this is the absorption part and the second one will be the desorption part. And we can see that it can simulate the cycle well uh, by the proposed mathematical model. And then my predictive model also can show the repeated cyclic process well through the by repeat the cycle 20 times. And we can see that it can show the absorption and desorption uh, the absorption and desorption well for each of the every cycle. Therefore I can say that my proposed mathematical model and also the computer program is work well for this uh, for this carbon dioxide pressure swing absorption. Okay, now I would like to go to the conclusion. The first conclusion that I can make is that the PSA model and numerical method were admissible to produce the breakthrough curve for absorption and also ample for designing a two-step cycle in singularly and repeatedly to separate the carbon dioxide nitrogen mixture. Secondly, is the optimum collocation point used for the simulation is n equal to 30 to predict the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed accurately. Therefore, in general, the, this study enables experimentation on a valid digital, digital representation of a system which uses algorithms and equation. The carbon dioxide removal by using PSA could be visualizing and test the practicability. Therefore, I hope that this study might bring contribution in the greenhouse gas separation field and industries with the application of pressure swing adsorption to achieve 
a lower carbon footprint in the environment. That's all from me. Thank you.